Okay. So we got dome to the do and do to the dome. For the dome, I go to school, and for the do, I use a comb. Ooh! Bars! Bars! What's going on, everybody out there? This is the <laughs> Vapors Podcast. You are now tuned in. I am your host, Mike of the Messiah. <laughs> you got your boy, Dino. I don't want to be no one but me, yo. <laughs> that was whack. But I don't care. Fuck y'all anyway. There we go. We got two. <laughs> we got two guests in there. <laughs> That's crazy. I was I was just listening to um Little B's latest drop. <laughs> Little B, man, you out here looking like Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> But you out here still dropping some bangers. He got this new video called I'm Selling. And what's he selling? Crack. He out here in these streets. All body. Garbage. <laughs> Respects to the base guard. Yeah, here we go. Check him out. We're now tuned in. Thanks for the tuning in, everybody. Uh, this is episode either five or six. I'm kind of lost on track. It's definitely episode um, five. Definitely five. All right, cool, cool. We're getting in there. Studio Switch work is still in the, in the books. So we, you know, give us some time on that. We're still going to wait to get into a studio. But for right now, you know, we're just going to kick back and play with some games. Gonna kick it. But anywho... What anybody want to start off with so far? I got, I got a few things I would like to talk about. Okay. How you feel about that? <laughs> Did you play too? <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Trash, because they made that nigga Chris look like Miguel from Tekken 7, which is horrible. I should sue him. Who is that? Oh, no wonder he looks like Miguel. They both Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so when you get the game, you get to play as both sides of the story. Cause I've never been a Resident Evil player. I never even care about Resident Evil. So you played the original three? The Resident Evil three, the original one? Ah, but you just hype though. Ah, I feel you. Hype train, hype train, hype train. All right, so Makai, what you got, what you got, what you got? What you, got, what you want to talk about, bro? All right, so like so far, what I would like to uh, start off with. <laughs> so um, y'all heard about Joel Santana, right? Uh. The whole teeth incident. <laughs> teeth incident where he bites somebody. <laughs> what happened? Did he bite somebody? About a year ago. I so who's and... the rapper that bit his girlfriend over banana pudding? That's not him. Uh, puppy. Who? Who? Say that again, because someone was sounding choppy. Like the audio just kind of yeah, it just went in out. But who bit the girl over the banana pudding? Wasn't that Young Dolph? What? I wasn't Young Dolph <laughs> or Drew Santana. Who that was. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Somebody, that, somebody but... bit their girlfriend because they had banana pudding or took their banana pudding. It was like a grown ass dude. Damn. <laughs> If I tell you his name too, you're gonna be like, word, it was him, but like, I fucking can't even think about it, yo. Keep going though, what about you, what? Santana? Young Dro. <laughs> you looked it up? I looked it up. Young Dro. <laughs> yo. 
banana pudding is that serious? Is this That's like the new Popeye's chicken sandwich epidemic? <laughs> That was Banana this year, bro. That was hilarious, but I thought that's what Yo, you were forget about. Joel. Young Dro, what are you on? This dude is too... I'm mad you didn't know about that. I did not know about this. Yo, that's <laughs> fucking wicked. What? This happened, what, in September? Pudding. I think, like, July or some shit like that. Oh, man. Full-fledged bitter. She was a whole <laughs> snack, huh? But... Not like that banana pudding. <laughs> nah, man, that's crazy. But um, I just been seeing some a few articles, in fact, about Joel and Tana. You know, if you've heard the story, um, because of lean or whatever it was he was taking, um, he lost his teeth. And um, well, I don't even know if that was real or not, cause people, you know how people are with the Photoshop. Yeah. But um. Boy, internet thug. <laughs> 50 cent. <laughs> he over, yo, he was going in on Joel's like. <laughs> so, I just wanted to get some more like background info on this whole thing. So, I look at the video. Is the video is by Dipset. It's called Sauce Boys. Okay. Um, I don't really feel that well for the song. I don't really care that much for the song. It's kind of ah. Whatever, right? But anything. Anyway, <laughs> the worst thing is not about Joel Santana's teeth. The worst thing is about Jen Jones. What did he do? This dude has a line that goes verbatim, right? I was watching all these rappers rocking fanny packs. Whoa. I was asking myself, what kind of man is that? Right? Okay. But whole time boy is wearing a fanny pack in a video. <laughs> and to make it that. whoa and to make it whoa that's not even is to make it whoa this dude got a bedazzled purplish fanny pack on that what <laughs> what <laughs> like what the LGBT at any cost whenever you can because if you don't you know what I mean and these are great rappers <laughs> Such as this man's. Wait, who again? <laughs> Just, oh, what? never mind. Who? Fucking about Jim Jones. Didn't Jim Jones get uh Takashi locked up? Right. I I always knew Jim Jones was a was one of the feds though. So they going hard. Jones is butt. So we talk about the same one. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about the rapper Jim Jones. There's a UFC fighter named Jim Jones. Look at you. You didn't even nobody care about Jim Jones. Talk about he. Yeah. <laughs> this Jim dude is yeah, white. talking about some. Nah. But oh, rest in peace, Juice World. Rest in peace, Juice World. Speaking of rest in peace. Mm hmm. Yeah, and speaking on rest in peace, we're gonna say rest in peace to Nick Cannon. Stop it right now! Y'all need to stop it right now! No, 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 no. Who cares about the disc though? He dropped another one. Eminem, you said Eminem dropped the disc. Bro, I didn't hear nothing. All I know is that. He needs to retire Cause the only time Eminem keeps getting popped up Is either if something stupid Or something whack Like his album Cause his album is garbage Or some form of diss track Or some Something Something of Of that nature It's like Can't you just do something Moderately good Like everybody keeps shitting on um Nick Cannon Yet Nick Cannon done way more For the black community And hip hop More than like oh, I, yeah, I would definitely. say in the sense of like Helping and supporting More than Eminem Like Everybody Eminem is associated with Kinda hates this nigga So it's kinda like I didn't even Nobody know Eminem was making new you. songs, but anywho. <laughs> I 
don't even I don't even have an M record on my phone in my playlist or anything, and that's not because I don't like M. It's just because I I don't listen to it like that. So because M isn't gonna make those. When you think about the popular demand of music, you're gonna get music like um, the past Juice World in the sense of. I mean, I didn't even. That's a, to this Juice is this is a whole other conversation that we're about to have because I know a lot of people are gonna be upset with me, but um. <laughs> Besides Lucid Dreams, what else did he make that was so good? But say that again. Besides what? Lucid Dreams is like the number one song that I hear most of the time. Lucid Dreams, that's the one where he's like, I still see them shadows in my room. Mm -hmm. That's the only one I've known of him. I've never heard of any other song of his. But my thing is this though. My thing it is this, though, repetitive, comparing, repetitive. comparing the sounds of the two rappers, you're going to get more of a juice world, like a more of a repetitive in the sense of melodic. Eminem is the one who kind of, I don't want to say started all that nonsense, but the way he does it still is more of a, it's more of a perspective type rap, and it's not going to sound as fun. He's not going to talk about certain elements. So, yeah, in this generation, you're not going to hear that. People are always going to say, oh, man, I love Eminem. He's in my top three. I love Biggie, and I love Tupac, and I love them so much. Can you name two albums? Uh, <laughs> no. What is it on your, is it on your playlist? <laughs> Looking real fucking stupid. So I, I really don't Thank understand you. how people create this narrative of Eminem. Like, he's so great, yet whenever he does something, he, he's great. Like... I don't, yeah. I don't get that. Like, it's so fucking inconsistent and retarded to me. So, bunk Eminem. Bunk him. And I, I'm on uh, Nick Cannon's side. I don't care what anybody has to tell me. It's it's funny because it's like... The, now, the reason I say rest in peace to, to Nick... Bro, you have no point here. Like, you're divorced. You know, that's a battle that was between them two. I mean, if anything, you should have done all of this when... Eminem actually started it, you know, not wait years later to then make some disses about it, bring it back up. But it makes no sense. What's problem. the problem? Does anybody know the source of this? Why this has resurfaced or anything? Because this beef has been going on for quite some time. Mm -hmm. See, look, Eminem started it up all over again. Why? Because he's fading into irrelevance. Yeah, blah blah blah. Nick, uh, not Nick. Uh, sure. Eminem can rap. Cool, you can rap. Now what? <laughs> <laughs> now what, nigga? And we don't care anymore. Like, all right, you have. If I'm so great of a painter, oh wow, you painted that house crazy. Did you fix the sink? No. What? It, did you fix the staircase? No. Oh, but the house is pink though. I I, I did that. I. Eminem ain't doing shit else, and I'm tired of hearing the same flow now. Cause Eminem, Eminem's washed. I don't care about Eminem. Bunk him. Yeah. Um, I'm done. When was it? The Relapse album? That was the last album I've ever even gave a listen to, honestly. Cause it's just like ah. He literally for revival, which nobody listened to because it was garbage. He did what? He made these new introspective songs but they all sounded kind of trash production was trash then when he saw that everybody didn't like it oh let me go this joe button tyler earl everybody named mom. Right. like even my grandma was offended she was like i think i didn't do nothing he dissed my grandma nigga you dissing everybody and for what like we get it you rap but do something else and nick cannon albeit i'm kind of tired of wilding out too but it's helping a whole bunch of niggas you but know what nick i'm saying does more than just wilding out that's the that's what I'm saying too. But like, I'm talking about what I know. I don't care about yeah. him hosting uh, what's that whack ass show? America's Got Talent, whatever the fuck. And then him standing from standing up for himself when they told him like, I don't know the situation with that. But he ended up standing for himself, and then these niggas fired him, and then they end up hiring what Terry Crews, who's basically a white nigga right at this point. <laughs> He's basically white at this point. But like, you, people need to show more respect for this nigga. That's what I'm gonna say. That's what I'm gonna end that shit with. If y'all got any more than that, I don't, I don't know, but like, Eminem, Dude, Nick, Doodle Butter, Nick Cannon, still Doodle Butter. My man's got all of Black Squad on his diss tracks with him. <laughs> and people over here trying to speculate, talking about, oh, they ghost wrote those for him. Nick Cannon got a ghost writer. I guarantee, I bet Nick does not have a ghost writer. I can literally put that on every day. I guarantee he does not have a, a, a ghost writer. 
Facts. Those are his bars. Oh, and nice. people are just hating because his name is Nick. And his last name is Cannon. Mm. People don't even have a reason to hate him anymore. Like, that's my... He was married to one of the greatest singers of all time. And has his children with this greatest artist, singer of all time. In her prime, at least. (laughs) Yeah, because her shit now going to scratch. Facts, because she do do that. And they pulled out some two cannons. So, like, you got... You just hating because it's it's Nick Cannon. cannon to pull out two cannons. (laughs) Use one cannon. Shot two. Dang. I don't know, dog. Nobody gave me a good reason as to why to not like Nick Cannon. Because whenever nothing else has happened, oh, I love Wallen though. Nick Cannon's so great. He's funny. He's cool. As soon as Eminem do something, oh my god, that person's whack. That garbage. He's even brought stuff. back um the whole '90s Nickelodeon stuff. Nick at night. Yeah, he owns a part of Nickelodeon. A nigga all, named all Nick. That. He owns brought back all that. Nick. Like. <laughs> So I don't want to hear nobody any any nonsense about all this nonsense because nobody has any justifiable reasons as to why they don't like him. Yo, Nick is really the GOAT. He's definitely a legend. Not saying that M is not a legend. M, I don't know. You are a legend of some sort. I mean, you're best. You're definitely known for putting your hands verbally on your wife and mother and kidnapping your daughter. <laughs> but uh. <laughs> You know, we all here. And I don't know. If everybody, they're talking about, oh, and didn't even respond. He got the dub. Yo, just hop off. Like, y'all some yes, massa, head ass jiggers. To a white guy. Look at that. Right. <laughs> oh, that. Nick is two. Eminem is zero. Who won? Eminem. Shut up. Hop off. Like. <laughs> Since when in history was that ever a thing? In the history of rap. How y'all feel about Uber and Lyft recording y'all when y'all take a... When y'all on y'all drive? I don't do either. It's either I'm driving myself because I don't trust nobody or I'm taking a train. That's that. Or I'm Poor niggas like me (laughs) who gotta take a lift sometimes. I'm totally cool with it because a lot of these motherfuckers be getting away with either abusing or harassing the fucking driver. And to be quite honest with you, driving the lift or doing such things like even delivery is like a bold ass thing to do because you're taking time out of your day to help some Neanderthal to get to point A to point B and they treating you like shit. I'm totally cool with it. They need to do that more often. So like they're like putting cameras in their vehicles now while mm-hmm. while driving customers yeah because so now the customers themselves are going to get reviewed rather than just mm-hmm. the driver because most of the times if you give the driver a bad review over some nonsense they can actually end up losing their job or get less rides which is nonsense because well, yeah of course relatively speaking being that oh if this person has a 2.4 star rating exactly. i'm not taking you I, I don't trust my life in your hands exactly but most of those motherfuckers don't even deserve that type of you know but treatment. is that only is that speaking in terms of only Lyft? Because um, from what I've I've thought I've known at least um, with Uber, and don't get me wrong, you know, correct me if I'm wrong here. But with Uber, don't the drivers have authority of rating their customers as well? Uber, I wouldn't know, but I think so because that's what I've heard. Because I don't use Uber, I use Lyft. That's true. Because at a point in time. I, I this, the reason I don't use Lyft, I mean I don't use Uber, is because uh, one time I had to cancel the ride because the person who was driving towards me was going the wrong way, and I kid you not, I was waiting about like 15 minutes, but I had to be somewhere, so I had to cancel the ride. And I'm just like, this dude's a fucking doofus, and then I canceled that one, got to the next one, it wasn't finding me a person, and I'm just like, all right, taking mad long, so I had to cancel like the whole app, like I stopped the app and redid it again, and the next person I got, I was like, I kid you not. Like, 15 minutes, 15 minutes away. I was like, yo, bro, I need to be somewhere now. So I had to <laughs> keep canceling this shit. And then, like, the next day when I tried to use it, it was like, oh, your card has been revoked or, like, your account has been revoked or some shit like that. And I'm just like, excuse me, nigga? I had to end up calling them and doing some left shit. So I said, I got you. I downloaded Lyft in 2.2 seconds. added all my information and dipped. It was so easy. But Uber is some wow. nonsense. It's some bullshit. 
I remember my last time with Uber. Well, I'm not going to say the last time, but definitely one time I was driving with Uber. And um, the guy, like, if anybody's familiar with the Bronx, you know the infamous, well-known Bronx Lebanon Hospital. Fuck Lebanon. I died in the hospital. Right. <laughs> I'm surprised you're, you're alive. You made it. <laughs> you're definitely a survivor. If you were born in Bronx, Lebanon, and you still live until this day, yeah, you're definitely a survivor. But um, <laughs> Thank you very much. This, <laughs> this guy, I was going towards Riverdale, right? I was going up mm -hmm. the, um, further up in the Bronx towards Riverdale. And this guy, I kid you not, literally drove past me twice. Mm-hmm. Like, and I'm just like, fucking face. what? So I canceled the ride with him, right? Mm -hmm. Get another Uber driver. I get to my destination. The the first Uber driver, right? Still charged me because I canceled. Yeah, I think that's the whole thing. Like, I think if you cancel, they take a, a portion of it. They don't take the whole thing. I might be wrong about that. But that's bullshit too. I'm like, what? He's the one who drove past me twice. He's the dickhead that don't know where the fuck he's going. Like, and you know, like, what gets me tight, too, is that they need to update the fucking, um, the GPS that they use. Because I don't know if it's, like, they're sponsored with a specific GPS or some shit like that. Mm -hmm. But, like, I'll tell, I tell you for an example right now. With my address, if I put in my address, niggas don't stop in front of the door. They stop on the hill next to, like, my building. And I'm just like, yo, bro, like, you mad deep. <laughs> that's not the address And they're like But it says right, right here On the address I'm like nigga Tell me what that says Like tell me what that says And they, they stop in the building Behind me And I'm like Does that look like the address That I put They're like Oh you know I, I, I can't do that dude. I don't know But it, it's No nigga Then look at the Fucking GPS Cause I showed you Exactly where to pick me up So The fact that And you know what kills me too Is your photo up there Makaya Your photo's up there right Yeah Do you see how distinctive Yo lumberjack head ass Looks how you going <laughs> to pass you? How you going to pass me, nigga? All, all this dread? Bro, I had <laughs> my phone. Me too, I had my phone up with the green screen on it to show him that I am the person he's looking for or that he's picking up. And he, he just kept driving. <laughs> like, like, I even had to text him like, dude, you passed me again. I'm right here. <laughs> He just kept passing so me. fucking tight, bro. And I was actually tight that day because I had to get to a graduation, too. It was my lady's graduation. So not only was I almost really late to even seeing her walk that stage, but that douchebag also charged me a fee because I canceled that ride with him. See, you, you was going to do something important. I was trying to get some ass, and I'm <laughs> not trying to wait. <laughs> like, you already taking your sweet time. And it's like and then you shouldn't be complaining because then sh that person should have paid for you. Excuse me, you nigga. Do, you're doing it wrong, bro. Nothing drops a pussy faster than a out. woman. They supposed to nothing... take you to Benihana's. Listen, ah, nothing drops up a pussy faster than a woman aiming for her wallet, nigga. What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know That's who you messing with. Pussy. Listen, man. Just because I'm not you in, know. I'm not married like you, bro. <laughs> I'm not married like you. I ain't sexy like Nick Cannon and Eminem. I'm ugly, nigga. I tell jokes. It's hard out here, so you need to relax. Sims is life, literally. But, um... <laughs> no joke. I was at work today, and this female... She was asking for directions. This lady was asking for directions. And she's like, oh, where's the nearest uh, gas station from here? And blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, oh, go to 36 and 10th. You know, that's the nearest gas station in this area, in Chelsea. And um, she was, like, asking me more questions. And so I'm politely, you know, directing her. I'm just an inspector at this point. I'm just, you know, helping her out. And she goes, oh, one last question. I'm like, yes. She goes, can you come? Can I take you with us? Like, can you come with us? You know, never mind. I'm sorry. Ha, ha, ha. I see the ring on your finger. Ha, ha, ha. Like, What? I was about to say, I mean, I'm about to get off in like 10 minutes, so if you're going to, you know, give me some food too or whatever, you know, I'll help you out now. <laughs> see? See? Makai gets shit like that. I don't got, I don't get shit like that. I got to be funny for seven days, seven hours, and seven minutes before I can even attempt. <laughs> this nigga get hit on by gay niggas, straight niggas, female niggas. 
all types of niggas. I don't got that type of privilege, my bro. So you're gonna have to just relax. I take Ubers and Lyfts. <laughs> Out here getting tips for free. Nah, that's that's how you know you winning. You getting tips for free. This dude, this dude just started. Oh, you yo, you looking nice, bro. I see you got you styling. I see that watch. Oh, I see that. Oh, look at that ring. Oh, wow. Like, yeah, my lady liked the ring too. He goes, oh, okay, that's nice though. But now look at your sweater. <laughs> look at your sweater. This is this is not even a she. This is a he. This is a, a grown man who's a supporter of the LGBTQ. He's a member of the LGBT plus. All that alphabets. I'm and so he glad they added that goddamn plus, bro. <laughs> you gotta have that plus, like the whole half of the alphabet for them niggas. Like <laughs> that's too many letters, bro. And I don't, I don't have nothing against any of, of y'all a part of that community, supporting that community, and 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 a part of that community. I support you as well. Just respect my boundaries, respect my orientation as well as I respect yours, and let's coexist happily. You know. Don't touch my kneecaps. Yeah, so the guy, he was getting a little pushy, and I'm like, yo, he was like, oh, I like that, that ring you have. I'm like, yeah, my lady loves it, too. My wife loves it, too. He was like, oh, okay, I see, but look at your sweater, though. That's a nice sweater, too. Like, oh, man. Nah. Closest thing to that was this nigga in high school touched my leg. I kicked him right in the dick. I said, yo, watch out, bro. I don't play <laughs> like that. See, that sound like an Eminem bar, but you got to... Put a little razzle dazzle there, like a pawn, a pawn, and you see me kicking the balls. Way too, way too many napkins. Rapping. No. <laughs> no. I'm not joking with these niggas and bitches. <laughs> and or bitches. However, they want to be called nowadays. I don't care. <laughs> um, yeah, man. fuck lift. <laughs> you know what's crazy? While we were on that topic about RIPs. Juice World, etc. There's something else that's been on my mind lately too, because lately, a lot of people on the social medias, you know, they out there doing their googles. You could do your googles too. Google this. Tentacion has been dead for at least a year now, right? Yeah. Am I wrong? Yet till this day, he's still coming up in conversations when it's when it's about legends, and it's based off of people talking about he's not a legend. Okay. So now I'm a, like, you know, what do you? What is the definition of a legend then? Just uh, because you didn't rock with somebody, that makes them a non-legend in your book. I mean, of course, everybody's gonna have their own separate opinion. Nobody's gonna have a flip, uh, flat one. But when it comes to the unison approval, I'm pretty sure like hip hop as a whole probably won't put him as a legend yet. But like, but you see, this is why he's a legend. Here's some reasons why as to why Tentacion is a legend. One, his spirit is still being felt throughout this entire world. Wherever you go. His music is not of just one genre. He legit has at least one song in every genre you can think of. Not only in the rap game or in the music industry, but he was also supporting communities outside of the music world. Starting yeah. his own fundraising campaigns to help minor youths in Florida, you know? He was doing way, he was doing a lot. Not only that, but he was also speaking very well to certain communities, certain type of people, giving outstanding adv advice, helping those who wanted to murder themselves, who wanted to commit suicide. If that's not a legend, I don't know. Shit, how do I get, how do I, uh, how do I advocate for the opposite? All right, so, <laughs> oh shit, a baby zombie. <laughs> when it comes to um, people, so I guess the, I guess the main thing out of all that, which for me would be uh, the presence being felt, because there's a whole bunch of artists who, once they get some form of money, do get back to the community, but the biggest thing, but the difference between uh, XXX and somebody else is that his was public, his was seen. Exactly. Like, I I personally can't or don't listen to uh, Beyonce, and she's a legend in the sense of how long she's been out, the quality of music, the consistency, and all these other things. But like in my eyes, she's not a legend because I just don't listen to her music. 
But if you use those things in the sense of like, oh, she supports this and she supports that, that doesn't help. That doesn't help my reasoning as to behind why I would I would consider her a legend or not. So the fact that X does it doesn't really help say that he's a legend in my eyes. I'll say it's more of the presence thing, cause yeah, he died and now everybody in a mom is still bumping him and. Albeit the labels and stuff like that are still abusing his willpower by dropping these um I forgot the right word like he's, the P. like he's pos 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 <laughs> post something I forgot the word but they keep dropping these songs and these unreleased tracks and whatever so they're helping 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 the sense of the name but they're not helping the actual music legacy because some of these tracks is just not it so in the sense of a legend a bunch I of say, those tracks are not finished they I were say, just thrown out there the main reason why people will call him a legend is the presence thing the like yeah the the impact and not the music unfortunately or the community stuff and the given and that's why i say he's a legend because it's outside of music that his presence is felt really just the name tentacion you'll think you know you know of him and that's not to take like to disregard the names like mac miller or Lil Pump, whatever was it Lil Pump or Lil Peep? Was it Peep? Because Pump is still alive. It's Peep. Like, you yeah. know, some people try calling like okay, I the Gnosis he loves Mac Miller. Uh -huh. I get that. Are you watching me, <laughs> however, I've never felt Miller. Uh-huh. I've never felt his music. I've never connected to his music. And that's not to say that he's whack or, uh, you know, his music has no value. It's just to say that his type of audience is not of my, you know, mentality. I don't fit that audience. However, with Tentacion, I 100% fit in his zone, like his vibes. Because other than music, it's the message that he's kind of putting out. Well, that he's brought to the world. Other than music, at least. See, that's where I gotta like I don't know but but uh can you please give me like five songs that are not um look at me or revenge that are like I don't wanna say positive but that support your claim of the message. So yeah, again what by that claim I said outside of music. His speech is about Oh you said outside living. of music? Outside of music, yes. Man, that's what I mean by energy, and that's what I mean by legends. Is he a legend in the rap game, in the music game, because of energy and not the actual music? That confuses no. me. That confuses me. Shouldn't it be the actual no. music that matters versus everything else? The person else? itself? Yeah. Because, yeah, you're a great person, but the music is the reason why you're a legend in the music industry, not because of some energy. What did he do in the music? Look at me is great. Revenge is great. X bitch and everything else that I heard in this latest album Dude. is not it. <laughs> everything I've heard he's on had, the other albums. He had, he's had so many different albums, so many different mixes, so many different songs than just those mainstream songs, though. Like, but that's my problem with that because you say this, but I need those examples because I got plenty of examples from Mac Miller. Hope, um. Numb, Floor 50, 555, Sad, Moonlight. I've heard and Floor 555, five, five, which you, I remember you deliberately texted me, yo. This is like the, the sequel to uh, Look At Me. What did that, you know? what was portrayed in that song that was like of this message you speak of? <laughs> Please. I, I can't need, even I'm think deadass. right now on that. But well, if I was you need prepared, to come back definitely... at me next week. Next week we will have a serious topic um, in a sense of X versus Mac in even the sense 17, of the you legacy know, like uh, Jocelyn, Joyce, like um, what save me? Jocelyn Forrest. The Person's obsession, um, dead inside that interlude he did, carry on because you know, like he has so many songs, dude. To me, X is basically train say food. a junior of of Mac Miller, but Mac Miller to me has literally not the exact same but Mac's been crying for help in the sense of depression and the how ways of dealing with it and like drug use 
since he fucking dropped. And the fact of like people not giving his form of recognition is beyond me. Because after he passed, it wasn't even more about Mac. It was about Pete fucking Davidson and Ariana Grande. Yeah, and I was just about to say her. That shit got on my nerves so to much. Day there's still so about much Ariana. content. There's so much content in that latest to album. To this day, it's still about Ariana. Like, I just seen this post not too long ago that said, oh, the sad thing about this photo, like, it was a, a, a picture of Ariana Grande, or Grand, whatever she wants to say that is the real pronunciation of it. She's, like, in, like, this black dress, and she's holding a skull with a black background, right? Mm-hmm. And she has, like, the dark makeup on, and she's just staring at the skull. And somebody in the caption says... Oh, this is her looking into the skull of Mac Miller, the late great Mac Miller, and blah, blah, blah. And then another person goes, oh, but the saddest thing about this whole thing is that she not she didn't even, and like, she didn't even marry the guy that, you know, like, she didn't even marry the guy. Yeah, that fell through. Like, hella quick. Because apparently Mac did this overdose because of her apparently supposedly you know supposedly he off himself through drugs because of her supposedly getting married to some guy i wouldn't i don't know i wouldn't say I wouldn't that because i don't think it re- was like to me that's a reach that's 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 the hard part for it as a mac fan to listen to, like since damn near the beginning like he's been known to like talk about overdosing and the fact of like what Mac Miller to me what it, what it always was was maybe a year and a half of straight depressed music and then a year and a half after that of just straight jolly hype music but for some weird mu- for some weird reason it's been it was a it was quite some time after the Love Divine album drop that he dropped anything and I was like okay that's that's happy and then it went to like sad for like two, three years. So I don't, I don't really know what was going on in that sense. But I'm trying, I'm, I'm slowly forgetting my mind. point because I'm looking at this nonsense right here. But it, I feel he like was it was. Damn, I don't want to say that was the reason because, I mean, they all fingers point to it. But that just fucking sucks. Like, I mean, um, with one of the last things, bit interviews he's ever done, right? He shows us this big house he has. And it's practically empty, meaning like there's it's just him. And uh, in that interview, he also stated how, you know, he he feels trapped. How he uses drugs to kind of give him a sense of freedom because he he's alone, and in this big house he doesn't do anything. So even that was kind of like a cry for help. You know what I mean? But that's the thing. That wasn't the first one. It's like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, that wasn't the first one. And it's just, I don't know, bro. I just feel like if people revisited him, checked out certain mixtapes and not like just straight up albums and certain things, yeah. they would hear certain songs, certain things. And they were like, bro, I don't cry. But like, I was almost brought to tears on a train one day because I was on SoundCloud and most of my SoundCloud is like Mac Miller's music, cause that was the stuff that I would listen to like back in high, like high school, and um, like one of the lyrics was, and I kid you not, I give no fucks when I go nuts, cause I smoke dust, overdose on the sofa, dead, woke up from a coma, poured up a soda, smoked, went back to bed, bro. When I heard that shit, that was recorded in like 2014, early 2015. That was years ago. And then they hear the news and then hear that song and the fact that he did actually overdose on a, on a fucking couch is ridiculous. And then the fact of like, not I don't say the neglect or the legacy in that, but people give X this energy thing and we're feeling you and you're like a legend and you're this and that. I didn't hear that for Mac. I didn't hear enough of that for Mac. Like they gave him his props after he died, of course, as everybody will get when they die. Exactly. They gave him two seconds on stage. They gave him three minutes of time. Pete Davidson, Pete Davidson, Ariana Grande, Ariana Grande, Ariana Grande. Right after that. So it's like, yeah, I'm going I'm to fight for him forever. I'm going to say that he's one of the greatest, one of the goats of all time. Because I really don't like the, um, the, the fucking um, inconsistency when it comes to people and these types of things, honestly. Yeah. Um, you know, um... I'm in and out of focus because Minecraft sucks ass right now. I don't even know why I play this game. <laughs> 
but you know what's crazy while we're still on this topic about like depression and those type of artists who are basically crying for help you know and sometimes most of the time they'll use their music as a form of a cry mm -hmm. and because we're just consumers because we're just people you know regular people who just look at these people as like you know because they're celebrities we look at them in a different light we think that their life is amazing you know we think that they got the money all the money in the world they're they have nothing to be stressed about they have nothing to complain about you know but in reality lagging a little bit bro you know they can only i said that there's that's not their reality you know it's not their truths mm -hmm. and um there's this song by um metro Boomin who he produced it it's called no more and it's featured with uh travis scott kodak black and 21 savage i believe mm -hmm. um and Yo, if you hear that song, it's pretty dope, but I kind of feel like, especially Kodak, you know, is crying for help. You know, if you actually sit there and you actually listen to those lyrics, if y'all want, we can pause and you can play it or whatever. But, um, man, I'm going to be pissed off if something happens to 21, man. That's one of my guys right there. That's my dude right there, 21, man. 21 seems like he has the head on his shoulders, though, in the sense of, like, having his shit together. Like, I feel like with 21, he's been more of one of those rappers that he got out, he's going to make sure he's out, and he's actually going to help, too, in the sense of, like, bettering himself. Like, after Amber yeah. Rose and him broke up, he seems like a whole better, like, like a whole new person, yeah. Like, and for the better, too, like, like not even negative. So I feel like this, we shouldn't worry about uh, 21, but Kodak, Kodak going to go to jail every day. As soon as he get out, he going back to jail. Kodak I don't understand is that. Like, done. What, All right. What I don't, has he done to end up back in jail? Like breathed. <laughs> <laughs> Smell that? Yo. Smells like jail. Because he want to <laughs> keep going back. I don't understand what that nigga doing, but he need to relax. But um, I think that might be it. I mean, I, this may be it, bro. He might be there for good this time. You know, like um, apparently he assaulted a PO. We don't really know the background mm -hmm. of that story entirely. However, we do know as a black male in America and a southern prison, and you attacking police officers. You know, you don't got to worry about no Fleece Johnson in there. <laughs> you got to worry about them P.O.'s. <laughs> Is that a sex reference? Are the cops having sex? <laughs> I'm not too sure what you're saying to me right now. <laughs> they be fucking them? That's nasty. Like you said, my police, parole, police, any one of them niggas. They, they fucking? That's nasty. Yo. This one guy, I, re I f yo, I swear to gosh, if I can find this story again, I will so share it to you. But this one dude came out about that type of issue. Um, I think it was happening in Rikers. Um, <laughs> dang, <laughs> like it's not funny, and I'm it's sorry hilarious. that I'm kind of laughing at this, but it's Laugh hard, it. you know. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure it was. He says. <laughs> He said along the lines that the police officer used to tie him up, throw him in um, one of those holes, as they say, you know, a secluded um, cell, mm -hmm. and the dude would rape him. The police officer would rape him. Not Kodak. Some other, it's another guy. Happened in Rikers. Happened back in, like, the 80s. You may have, you know, it was, I've heard of this a while, a long time ago, My but if I could find that article, like, I would dead bring that how back. How the fuck do they get away with this shit? Like, they, they not, I mean, I'm pretty sure, like, the head dude is not taking, keeping tabs on every worker, but, like, my nigga, like, you bored, bro? Why don't you go take care of the other inmates? <laughs> I mean, you got over, let's say, 5,000 or 10,000 inmates with only, like, 10 patrolling officers, you know? Just keep tabs on every fucking officer by then, like, unless they gotta take care of what, two hundred a pop. 
That's fucking gross. Is <laughs> <laughs> that gross? <laughs> Man, like I, I pray for Kodak. Um, I don't, I forgot what you changed the name like to, but um, anybody remember what he changed his name to? Bodak Yellow. Bodak Yellow. <laughs> Why would he change his name? What? He changed his name because he supposedly he was trying. You know, like... he was trying to do the Gucci man, try to change. You know? Did he was it a Gucci man change in the sense of I don't believe it and it's for bullshit? Was, was it, it like Bill Capri? I think it was Bill Capri. I ain't calling that nigga no Bill. His name is Kodak <laughs> Black. Bill Capri. Kodak. It's fucking ugly. No offense. <laughs> don't shoot me, Kodak, because you can go back to jail. Nigga said Bill. I ain't calling no nigga Bill. <laughs> Little Bill head ass. Kodak Black is Lil Bill. Fucking dropped out of high school and fucking started doing drugs. Hardcore <laughs> cocaine. Fuck. Speaking of cocaine, oh. we're gonna talk about it. some young boy and dirty Ayana. Who? What is going on with this? Co I, I actually Kodak. haven't even heard the track as yet. It's just been blowing up crazy on my on on the TL, you know. So yeah, I didn't hear it either. Dirty Ayana, right? Is that how yeah. you pronounce it? It's a black ass name. I guess it's like a, a spin off of um, Michael Jackson's Dirty Diana. Gee, my tiny brain cannot figure that one. Yeah. Especially when you're that. not a part of the pop rock community. Nope. <laughs> you fried. You stuck playing UFC, bro. You done play? You guys on the game? You got, bro. You done, man. <laughs> you, st you done? <laughs> you done? You done, bro? It's on UFC. You done? You can't switch. Nah. <laughs> he gave you that answer. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you said nah. <laughs> he gave that answer. Cause yo, I'm dumb take. Cause like, why not pick Minecraft, my nigga? <laughs> I didn't say that. He didn't say that. <laughs> I didn't say that. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> you will body me in UFC. I'm. <laughs> Doodle butter at UFC. I don't challenge no nigga unless I know I can bop him. Oh, oh, shit. Yeah, facts. I'm tired of playing Minecraft, my nigga, but like. <laughs> I'm really tired of playing Minecraft. <laughs> you, we asked out, bro. We asked out. Man, I'm in right now. Like, I'm in a. Shit. But nah, when you once you done once you uh start broadcasting, you're limited to that one thing. Oh shit, I think I'm about to fucking die. Mic is uh going in and out. Your mic is yeah. No, it's not Marcus. It's you, Makaya. If we sound like we're lagging, it's because you're kind of lagging. Marcus has been kind of smooth the entire trip. So just make sure... It's you probably the weather. Because um, I'm in the blue right now, so I don't understand how it's from my end. Oh, it's definitely the weather. It's inconsistent when it's like this. Which is fucking nasty. Like, I wish it would fucking stop. I know it's winter Seriously. or whatnot, but like, bro, I just want to... Stop. <laughs> Fucking hate winter with a passion. But now, so I got a question, Ed. Sure. Mr. Dinosis. Shoot. Where the hell did we go out to eat that last time we was out when we all went out as a group? Because I swore it was Wu's basement. But then I do remember us having to travel between restaurants or whatever. Like literally between restaurants. So where the hell did we really eat at? 
Are you talking about when it was me, you, Philip, Nino? Yeah. No. With the girls with the the old ladies and he was hitting on you. Nah. It was me, you, Shaquana. Um. Oh, nigga, that ain't Wu's basement. That's um. That's that place. <laughs> <laughs> that's that area with that thing with that place, bro. Um, it's, it's down the, the one block behind from the arcade. It. It's the down. A, yeah, it's not. Yeah. Uh, fuck, okay. bro. I don't know the name, but I know for you know where it is, though. You I remember know, where I it know is? what it is now. I know. Where I don't it know is the now. name, but I know for I know, a fact. I know what it is. Find it. You just confirmed. Oh, cause shit. I was cause we we did walk. Don't get me. We did walk into Wu's basement though, right? Like we walked into that restaurant first. Yeah, we had to go through the restaurant to get to the other restaurant. There's a restaurant like, in the restaurant. Like, the restaurant's in the restaurant, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> the first, the thing we walked through was the bar. That was a different, that was a whole different uh, entity. When we walked in the back of the joint and we went upstairs, that's the ramen shop. If it's called Wu's Basement, then I'm not too sure the name of it. But for a fact, it's a restaurant in a restaurant. Uh, where it is, you got me there, Bucko. All I know is that it's on Browery Street. Yeah, so, that just sounds like money laundering, like cockfights in the basement. Nah, it's probably owned by the same people. You know, most of the delis in New York, like why there's so fucking many, is because the niggas that own one corner own the one on the other corner too. Yeah, but they're not connected stores where you doing a maze running type Bro, stuff. Bro, what sense it makes to, to connect them? delis? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> one sells Linda's cakes, another one sells a uh, little Debbie nigga. No, that's not how that works. <laughs> that's not how that works, bro. <laughs> but um, I'm so tight right now. I really want to play this game. I lost my world, bro. I lost my world. <laughs> Why am I mean, playing we this game? Right? This EP short right here, and we covered a few things. We covered a lot of good topics. Had a good conversation. I had a couple more things to say, but I'm not gonna hold you. I can't find my notes. <laughs> I named the podcast, but that shit gone, gone. Man, we covered juice. We covered the Uber joint, and I had like two more joints, but a whole nigga lost his topics. <laughs> but did just did y'all ever like really listen to Juice World though? Uh, Can any of you name at least three songs without looking them up? I can name you features, nigga. <laughs> but when it comes to actual <laughs> albums, that's why that's why I kind of have that whole like I don't see it, and even to throw in um, you know, uh, X into the conversation. I just, oh my gosh, I don't see it. Like Nuketown with him and Skis. It oh, I feel so bad for Ski Mask, bro. Like if oh, I was him. Juice too? I would be crying, crying, Yo, bro. Somebody asked me. Somebody asked me later, on, like earlier in the week. Do you think um, ski mask is cursed? Fucking me! <laughs> I asked you that. Bro. That was you. <laughs> yes. Don't don't throw ski mask name and the eyes of the reaper. Oh uh, Nipsey, I I just I don't like Nipsey's music, man. I don't like. He was. A good role model, the dude was still a drug dealer crip. Hard crip. Bro, hard crips do so many things for, like, their own community, too, because they, albeit... Snoop is a crip, but he's not even a hard crip. But that's the thing. Nip is was getting out of that. You feel me? Was he? Because a lot of people, a lot of people close to him also called his store as a cover-up. Well, I, I never been to LA. <laughs> exactly. His own man's killed it, and he actually and he actually paid his man's way. Oh, 
But you see, you think you. But you see, what I think it really is, I think he was really changing to a better light because, for whatever reason, those that are positive and do positive things in this world die. seem to be the ones that die. Look at that. Just like how X was changing. He was fucking exactly. fixing all those uh, past mistakes and those things, improving as a human, becoming more mature. And exactly. Gone. So, I totally view it. Okay. I, I, I was just being an advocate, but I do wholeheartedly believe in preserving the legend, not the legend status, but preserving the memory of those who are trying to do good. I mean, albeit yeah. it is music, because that's how you do uh, socialize and get in touch with people, but that's how you start the build, you know what I mean? But, yeah, that's exactly, that's so, the, just their start, you, can, you know. I, I would, I was just advocating, well, and Devil's advocating earlier, but that's, I would, I would have no problem um, keeping X as a legend for that one thing. And I have no problem keeping Nipsey as that legend either, in, in, in that sense of rebuilding and repurposing themselves. But mm -hmm. we should figure out a way to say that without always incorporating the music because sometimes the music is just a stepping stone. It but is you see, that's stone. what's hard to separate because that's how we known them as. That's how they introduced themselves to us as. So it's hard to say, like, they say the first impression is always the largest, you know, impression is the biggest thing because oh, yes. your first impression is how that person would you know, like, typically remember you. So we remember them because they were introduced to us as artists in the music industry. So for somebody like, say, Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson, it was he introduced us as a boxer. He's a boxing legend. So it's weird because he's also done shows. He's done movies. He's done multiple things. Mm -hmm. But we will never say anything outside of boxing when, it, when his name comes up to a topic. Why? Because that's what we've always known him for. I've seen that nigga in what, The Hangover? Hangover, um, lip singing, or whatever is that crap he show that was. Ass has a cartoon on Adult Swim. <laughs> like, he's really out here. He's I need really a show on Adult Swim. Shout out to Mike show. Tyson. Big no. Mike. And he'll Cause just like Young Dolph, he'll bite your banana pudding. And I ain't trying to have that nonsense. <laughs> You know, you mean just like Mike, Young Dolph will bite your banana <laughs> <laughs> Get away from my banana pudding, yo. And he was like, nah, I ain't coming for that. Nigga, <laughs> have band-aids on your the head. Name of this, <laughs> the name of this EP is going to be Banana Pudding Biting. <laughs> Get the fuck away from my banana pudding. <laughs> pudding pop head ass, looking head ass. Finger licking, good banana pudding. Who, who, like, y'all really like, do y'all like banana pudding? Like, yes. That sounds like some Bill Cosby stuff. Don't, don't say yes. What are you talking about? Don't say yeah, bro. Don't even play with me right now because my mom, <laughs> dad has only make two desserts and both them shits is bomb because she only cook like once every six years. So when she make banana pudding, that shit's slap, <laughs> bro. I'll be playing with me, bro. But listen, 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 listen. Let me tell you how to eat banana pudding, bro. Put that shit in the... After that shit done, put that shit in the refrigerator for 24 hours, my nigga. That shit got done at 8.30? You eating that shit the next day, 8.30 p.m., bro. That shit smacks. <laughs> yo, that shit is fire, fire, bro. Don't even play with me, son. Whoo. They be kicking your ass. They be robbing you. Bro, the mill itself rob you. And pull up to your house. Hey, yo! <laughs> Kick down the door, right? And drink your milk. That shit is... Oh, my God. Don't even get me started on banana pudding. Banana pudding, <laughs> she played a pie, bro. Stop it. Stop it, yo. Too great. It's I need to try some black dishes. I need banana pudding, bread pudding, monkey bread, and uh, collard greens. Nigga said... Wait, hold on. Wait. Did you say desserts? Oh, did you just say uh, dishes? <laughs> I said dishes. Oh god! <laughs> my nigga, how is it no damn dessert, my nigga? So <laughs> vegan it is. <laughs> Collard greens. <laughs> nah, I shouldn't even say that because don't like don't they cook like um neck bones and collard greens? So vegans yeah. can't even eat that. Bro, neck bones is I'm not gonna hold you, bro. My aunt make pig feet 
I be wanting to slap her sometimes. Like, what's wrong with you? Can you stop making this shit, bro? You wasting your time. You wasting your time. Nobody eating this shit, bro. <laughs> stop <laughs> doing that. <laughs> Neck bones is the worst shit of all time, bro. I I can't stand it. What? For the two times no, I had, I've had it, um, I ate it. I, I've used to eat um chicken necks, like neck bones, chicken bro, necks, like with a neck on it. Ain't those good. are yo, those are mad good, bro. Depending on at least how it's cooked, those are good. I'm not receiving. But I don't neck, like turkey. I don't want. I hate turkey. So nah. Yeah, you a buster for that turkey is shit, bro. Especially when it ain't dry yeah. and they make it literally, white. literally. That's what it is. Dry that's turkey's stink. trash, but that's good, nasty. moist, succulent. I, I like my juicy. food like I like my women, colored. Nigga, sometimes a pale bitch will get the job done. <laughs> <laughs> that's why they're dried. But that's it for today's EP. <laughs> Listen, stop it. You can put some uh, sweet potato juice on the a white bitch. <laughs> sweet potato juice. <laughs> You mean uh casserole juice? Before I die, bro, I'm putting sweet potato sweet potato uh sauce, the syrup on a bitch. I don't care. You gonna be you know out here sauce, cracking right? eggs on the top of their heads. Nah, if I don't get diabetes, then I don't want this life. <laughs> yeah, I can't I can't see myself living with diabetes. That's kinda of... Bro, I gotta get diabetes first. That's kind of a drag. Diet. Shouts out to y'all with disabilities. If you got a min if you got a disability, like kudos to you, dude. Like, really turn up, man. Shout out mental illness. Shout out to mental illness, man. Rest in peace to Betty White. She's not dead, but for when she die, because I know that that's coming soon. God oh, that's twenty twenty. That's twenty twenty. <laughs> <laughs> See next. <laughs> She's next. <laughs> that just answered Loki's answer question. Oh, that just Lord. answered Loki's question. Protect her, I think, or try. Lord, protect Betty White at all costs. Base God, do your thing. Give Thank you, Base God. Uh, Master Roshi treatment. <laughs> to we need to protect Betty White at all costs. She's the last golden girl. Three thousand. Ask Chief Keith, he gonna say three hundred. <laughs> but all right, guys, I think that's gonna be it for me tonight. I appreciate yeah. everybody tuning in. I appreciate our guest, Low Key. Hopefully, he come back sometime. If those who didn't know, Nino was in this podcast because uh, I don't think he introduced himself in the beginning. Nino was here. You know, and um, again, shout out to mental illness, dude. If you got a mental illness, man, turn up. Like, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> but like always, follow on YouTube at the Vapors Podcast Crew. <laughs> Send the love, questions, whatever. <laughs> again, at the vapors crew bitches. at gmail.com you know again, check out our spotify again, check bitches, out um, again, soundcloud send those nudes to eugene gnosis <laughs> at esmack at gmail.com <laughs> negro <laughs> ketchup <laughs> on instagram <laughs> bitch <laughs> <laughs> gonna have a what makaya we're gonna have um how should i say because we're not going to be no Jared over here. If you send in nudes, you're going to have to be at least 21. We're not messing 19 with 18. And <laughs> we're messing with 21. No, but you got to be a Ukrainian be 21, definitely. Because, you know, the U Ukrainians, they... Aren't they no, like I'm 98 just... when they come out the way? <laughs> I'm, I'm just talking. But... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we out. Stay black.